Now we're going to see how to create a web server in Docker. So I'm going to go ahead and list out what I've got running right now for containers. And these are the ones that we worked on earlier. What I want to do is create an Nginx container that I can then run a web page from. But let's just start off with something simple and go ahead and run Nginx as a web server. So for that, I'm going to do Docker run dash d dash p and I'm using these switches to make it run in the background. This p is case sensitive so make sure you're using a capital P. Then what I'm going to do is name web nginx. Okay so that should be running and what I can do now is check the port that I've got for this. So I'll do docker web or docker port web and here we go. So in my browser I can do let's see the host name and to get that I'm going to do docker before I go to my browser machine docker dash machine IP default. So this should give me all the information I need to run this in the browser. So I'm going to take this address and paste it. Now I'm also going to need a port because if I try this you'll notice nothing happens here. And the port is not going to be 443, it's going to be the 80. We want the 80 port because it's going to be accessible through the browser. So if I paste back the IP address and do 32781, there's our web server and that's the web page, the default web page that's getting served up now. So from here, there's a few things I can do with this. I can do Docker and issue a stop web. That will stop the web server. So if I refresh this, you can see there's nothing that's going to happen there. And I can also look and see what do we have running now. So here's our engines. You can see the daemon is off. We've got this ID is for that one. And I can do Docker RM web. So now if we list these again, it's not there. So we were able to quickly spin up that web server and then stop it and remove it. So it's completely gone at this point. That is all fine, but let's say we want our own web page in there. So there's some things we can do. I'm going to CD into home. That is actually not case sensitive, so you can do lowercase home and that will still work just as well. And then what I want to do is create a directory in here for a website. So I'm going to do make directory and I'm just going to call it my site. And from here, if I do an ls, actually that's not where I want to be, but let's see if I do cd my site. Now I do an ls, there's nothing in there. So what I want to do is create a web page. So I'm going to do echo a new, a new website. This is actually going to be some text that's going to display on the web page. Then I'll put this into index.html and I'll create that. Now if I ls, you can see we have one page in there and if I look at what is the content, it's just the content that we've added so it's very simple. Now what I want to do is run that page in our Nginx server. And I'm going to quickly spin that up. So this, right now there's no web server running. And I'm going to spin it up and make it run our one web page. So I'm going to do docker run. I'm going to use the switches we had earlier. I'm going to add a V switch to that as well. And then the path, which is home my site. And I also need to specify the Nginx path which is going to be this and HTML space backslash. That's it. There's no spaces after this so I hit enter and I get this prompt here. For that what I need to do is enter the name of the site. So it's going to be name my site followed by Nginx. Hit enter. Okay so that just spun up and the port is going to be different. So we're going to do another docker port my site and this time we have a 32782. And before you can see we had the 781. So I am going to do a 2 and hit enter. 
see if I have this correct. Oh, I did actually the wrong one. We want the 8, 3 for the 80. So I am going to do a 3 here. And there it is, my new site. And from here, I can go ahead and Docker stop my site. Hit enter. And now if I refresh, the site has been stopped. So I'm just going to clear. So I can go ahead and spin up this site again, but let's look at what do we have in the way of containers. So here they are. Here's our server that we created. Let's go ahead and start the site again. So just as we did a Docker stop my site, we can do a Docker start my site. Again, my site is the site name that we gave it. So I'll hit enter. And now let's look at what do we have going on. So you can still see we have our engine server there. And if I go back to the site and refresh it, nothing is happening. The reason for that is because the port number changes each time you start the server. So if I do a Docker port my site, I can get the latest one, which is going to be 32787. So if I change this to a 7, the site is back. So that's how easy it is to create an Nginx server or go ahead and create one with your own web page, spin it up and have it live. And again, this is doing some mapping to make this happen with these port numbers because this is coming out of Linux, going through VirtualBox, and then finally available to the Mac.